it was serendipity, it was an accident, as many great inventions or discoveries are. GUITAR stands for graphite from the University of Idaho thermalized asphalt reaction. Initially, we thought it was graphite, or uh, a related material called graphene. Now we've come to understand that it might be a new allotrope of carbon. Well, back in 2007, I actually came in contact with a cattle rancher down in, in uh, Rifle, Colorado, and he had some uh, oil shale on his property, and after heating it, I turned the heat off and, and let it cool down, and when I opened up the the crucible, there was uh, this beautiful silver metallic coating all over the interior. There didn't appear to be anything like it. A guitar would be useful for ultra capacitors, vanadium redox flow batteries for enhancement of lead acid battery, fuel cells for water purification. Well, that's just the initial list. I actually joined this group knowing very, very little about carbon materials entirely. So when I joined the group and uh, I realized that a few years before I joined in, um, a new material had been discovered, I was like, okay, this is really interesting. Let me just get myself into it and see um, how fun it's going to be. It feels like a very personal project to me. It's exciting to realize that it's something that, you know, it was accidentally discovered in my you know, garage. It was able to actually turn out to be something significant. It helped me realize that the education I received here as an undergraduate really did train me to be a good scientist. Every one of us is actually using this material for something unique. And we strongly believe that if we had 10 new students now, they can do something different with guitar that doesn't have to conflict with any other body's work, you know, because there's so much it can do. It actually shaped me a lot. Um, it made me an electrochemist, it made me a material scientist, it made me an analytical chemist, so it actually made me really versatile for life after school. You don't always find what you're looking for, but you know, to be able to see other things, and a lot of times they're very small, minute details, that to me has become kind of the mark of a good scientist.